so let's take a look at how you can install NocoDB on your windows okay so for this we will make use of node package manager and first thing we will do is we will navigate to the place where we wish to install that package okay so what I can do is I can go to that particular drive let's say I want to install NocoDB here so I will do is I will open terminal from this particular place okay now next thing would be to check github okay so if you check the github repository you will find the command npx create nocodb amp so what we'll do is we will simply copy this and we will simply paste this in this particular path now hit enter it should ask you for permission to install a particular package which is going to be this create nocodb app and anything that depends on it so you have to say yes for that process to finish and once it is finished what we can do is we can simply type in npm start and it should be available in this particular localhost location Okay, so let's wait for our terminal to start okay now it will ask you to proceed say yes and hit enter it should take some time to download all those packages depending on the dependencies so let's wait for that now once the installation of nocodb is completed it will take you to the option to choose the default metadata storage and for that it selects SQLite 3, MySQL or Postgres or MSQL so if you have any other choice you can go for that or simply default to SQLite 3 okay now if you want to use it as a Node.js project or Docker you can choose so I will run it as a Node.js project Okay, now here you see uh, it has installed with civic tuna folder okay so we have to go there and type in npm install and npm start so we will type in cd civic underscore tuna right now type in npm install right it will install all those files Okay, and after that we will type in npm start to start the server okay now that it is installed what we will do is we will type in npm start and let the server start on localhost 8080 dashboard okay make sure to allow access to your node.js server Okay, now next thing, visit the localhost 8080 dashboard in your browser. So, let's type it out. And here you see, NoCodeB is installed. And this is the initial message that arrives. Okay. Now what we have to do is we have to click on let's begin here we have to type in username and password so the username being your email and password that you choose to have now once you log in with your username and password you can see the initial screen that looks something like this okay so if you can see this screen that means you have managed to install nocodb okay we will take a look at how to create new projects how to add your tables and how to sort your data filter data or do other sort of operations later now that we have installed nocodb next thing we can do is we can create new projects so click on this new project and click on create 
now you can use can create by connecting to external database okay or you can simply hit create so for this it will make use of SQL Act 3 which is your default database so let's say if I choose something like okay now you can access project via REST API or GraphQL for now it doesn't matter because I have no plans to make use of any of these two API I want to make use of MongoDB for my own project management so I will simply click on create okay once you create the project it should open the default window that looks something like this where you have your team listed currently I'm the only person managing the dashboard okay now next thing we can do is we can add more people by clicking on new user here you have to type in the email then choose what role you want to give to that person like editor creator owner currently I'm the owner so I'm giving away editor commenter viewer type of roles to that person okay and then hit invite okay if you have installed this nocodb on any server instance then you can send invitee so that would go through email and they would be able to access the particular domain for this nocodb setup so currently we have this setup on our own desktop so sending invitee and getting them to join here doesn't make sense okay because they won't be able to access this particular desktop domain unless we are connected in a way to let them access it okay so for this to work you have to install it in some VPS instance and that should work okay next thing is that after this you can also check out your settings for preview as editor commenter and viewer okay so you get the idea how to create new project in your nocodb with sqlite 3 as your default database okay now that we have created our project in nocodb what we will do is we will click on it and open that database Okay, so basically every project has a database of its own and inside that we have option for creating tables okay when we click on this table what we can do is we can add a new one so by default there is always one table in every project which is related to your team and users okay now what we'll do is we will add new table and it's contacts right now what we will do is we will add one item after another so first let's start with completely new field okay so here i want it to be a simple text so we'll have single line text okay if you want to have longer you can have it with long text right so i will stick with single line text as name so save this okay then comes our phone number so we'll just add column name as phone okay scroll for phone number field okay it will take care of the rest of the stuff like if it's wire care or something else then comes email right so simply add email and we will choose that column type and save it now our table has name phone and email okay so what we'll do is we'll add new row and here we'll add a new name and add phone number and then email as well Right. now that you have your name phone and email you can continue to populate your database in this particular table so you can add as many entries as you want and all of them are currently being stored in SQLite database okay so 
it's pretty much a compact database yet it can handle a large amount of data so continue to keep on adding the contacts into your table and see if you can create similar other table for your own workflow currently we have our table with few entries here and as you can see currently it's in table mode which you can change the view into grid gallery calendar kanban and form i'm using the early version of nocodb so these views are not enabled as of now so if i click on form it will tell me coming soon kanban calendar all of them would trigger the same okay so for now you are limited with table view so in near future if you want to view your data into one of these views then you can do so by going to right hand side sidebar and you will get that view as well okay and you will be able to sort your data as well okay you can add sort option you can mention specific field through which you can sort like phone name email right and you can also filter some of the data based on your query by using filter tab and considering it auto saves you don't have to press this save button but in some cases you may have to okay and there's one more thing to look at is you can delete this table by clicking on delete table okay a few more things to look at is first thing team and auth which will be also visible in your tab you can add your users here right then you have your app store you can integrate your current table with external services like slack microsoft teams discord twilio whatsapp then amazon s3 and few others okay so depending on your need for storage or for any other workflow specific use you can install those apps okay then there is a final thing which you have to take a look at is project metadata like you want to take the backup of your current project then you can export current project meta to zip and you can use it in any other similar program that accepts such project meta right so you get the idea how nocodb works with creation of tables database how you can view them in different views and how you can export the meta data through settings right and also preview your content through other users like editor commenter viewer from left hand sidebar